Theme Kokura by Natsumi Soseki. Themes Kokura deals with states of loneliness and isolation, which Natsumi Soseki portrays as inherent to the human condition. The themes of his work are grounded in a sense of disconnection between humans and across eras. Loneliness and isolation All the characters in Kokura experience isolation in one way or another. They are separated from others by age, secrets, cowardice, guilt, era, or education. The narrator has few close friends apart from Sensei, and he understands that a secret separates Sensei from him. Out of loneliness the narrator persists in seeking out Sensei's company, despite feeling he can't truly get close to Sensei. The narrator sees the grave Sensei visits as symbolic of what stands between them. Unknowingly, the narrator has hit upon the source of Sensei's isolation from the rest of the world as well. The narrator also senses a gulf between himself and his parents, brought on by generational and educational differences. His parents live in the countryside and never attended university or lived in the city. They belong to the Meiji era, while the narrator comes into adulthood at the start of the Taisho era. These differences cause parents and child to struggle to understand one another. The narrator grows melancholy when he realizes he no longer belongs in his childhood home. Sensei's loneliness begins with the deaths of his parents and his subsequent disagreements with the rest of his family. After Sensei's parents die, his uncle's dishonesty plants a seed of bitterness that makes Sensei keep his distance from other people. At first Sensei sets himself apart as a virtuous man amidst a dishonest and corrupted world. But gradually Sensei comes to understand that he is not above dishonesty and cowardice, and his misanthropy comes to include self-hatred. Now he keeps himself separate from others, including his wife, Shizu also Ojosun, out of guilt and fear. Even the narrator, Sensei's only real friend, does not become truly close to Sensei until it is too late. Sensei finally reaches out to another human only when he has decided to end his life. The Changing of Eras Sensei tells the narrator, you and I belong to different eras, and so we think differently. The narrator is separated from Sensei and from his parents by more than generation. He is separated also by the enormous social shifts in Japan. Sensei, like the novel's author, is very much a man of the Meiji era. The Meiji era which officially ended in 1912 with Emperor Meiji's death, was a time of incredible change in Japan. Japan abolished its isolationist policy and the rest of the world began to exert its influence on the nation. The shift to the Taisho era marked a great move from country to city and increasing socio-political liberalism.
This was reflected in the student population. Young men moved from country to city to attend university, where they could learn and exchange ideas. Access to and interest in Western literature, philosophy, and popular culture were on the rise. The narrator is one of many young men of this era who moved from the country to the city to look for work and attend university. City and university life change the narrator, and when he returns home he feels a greater gulf between himself and his parents. The narrator's adulthood begins at the start of the Taisho era, though he grew up at the tail end of the Meiji. Sensei is from a different generation of university student. He tells the narrator in his letter that university students were much rowdier in his day, implying that the narrator's generation lacks passion. Occasionally Sensei also calls the narrator's ideas, contemporary, and shows a certain disdain for them. The narrator never voices particularly radical views, and Sensei becomes disdainful mainly when the narrator is flippant about serious matters. Thus when Sensei refers to contemporary ideas, he may be saying the youth of the new era are too frivolous. The author's feelings about the passing of the Meiji era likely come through in Sensei's attitude toward the new generation. Problems of the intellectual A sense of meaninglessness and disconnection accompanies the intellectual characters in Kokura. Soseki himself was one of the major intellectuals of the Meiji era, and in Kokura he reflects on the problem of being a Japanese intellectual in this period. The Meiji era was a time when the study of Western literature and culture began to achieve prominence. Soseki believed the rapid westernization of Japan didn't allow time for true absorption and change. Instead it created an atmosphere of chaos and rootlessness. He also feared what he saw as a rise of ego and individualism in the Meiji and Taisho eras. Soseki examines these issues through Sensei's character, ascribing his loneliness to the modern age as the price of freedom, independence, and our own egotistical selves. Sensei also struggles with the feeling that all his academic study is meaningless in the real world. He tells the narrator he has lost interest in studying because he thinks no knowledge he could acquire would make him a better man than he is. Now, Sensei and Soseki are both disillusioned intellectuals who struggle to find meaning in their quest for academic knowledge. This sense of meaninglessness infects the narrator as well. After he graduates, he is struck with the feeling that his diploma is worthless. He suspects his studies mean little outside the confines of the university. When he returns to his parents' house in the countryside, tension arises between the old generation and the new. To his rural parents, a university degree carries a great deal of weight. It brings prestige and has practical applications. They believe the narrator's degree will lead to a high-paying job. The narrator knows otherwise. 
He thinks he will be lucky to get a mediocre teaching post with his degree, and he cannot bring himself to study any more after he has graduated. His frustration with his parents' excitement over his diploma echoes a deeper fear that he has lost his sense of purpose and direction.